So over the past couple of years, we've been seeing a new push for democratic socialism. And it's backed by people like Bernie Sanders and AOC. And honestly, it's not realistic. And all it does is raise entitlement. So democratic socialism is backed by three main talking points. And that is free healthcare, free college, and a higher minimum wage. And I'm about to debunk all three. So let's just start with the easiest one, a higher minimum wage. Well, see the actual minimum wage in America is zero dollars. And all that would do is raise the unemployment rates and cause massive inflation that'll basically do nothing anyways because you'll be paying so much more for goods and services that you wouldn't even notice the higher minimum wage. And now let's go to the second point, free college. It sounds great, right? Everybody's educated, everybody's getting a better job and everybody's making a ton of money and helping the economy grow. Well, see, that's not exactly the case. If you're so worried about paying back your college debt that you're willing to shove it off onto everybody else, then maybe you shouldn't go to college. Because now, instead of paying back your own loans and then being done with it, you're gonna be paying for everybody's college. Every single item you buy and every service you use is now going to be more expensive because you didn't wanna pay back your own college loans and now you gotta pay back everybody else's. Also, I bet that degree is gonna look so much more shiny when you're at your new job and you get that massive new paycheck, except you only get half of it because the other half is going to taxes that you raised when you decided that you wanted to go to college for free. Not to mention all the people that go to college that aren't actually serious about getting an education, they just wanna go and party and drink and get laid, well, now you're paying for them too. And do you think personal accountability will ever make them drop out of school if they have no use of being there? Of course not, they're not paying for it. But I bet you'll be happy knowing that your hard earned tax dollars are going to some frat boy who doesn't have a job. And now let's get to the big one, free universal healthcare. Be free, so free. I hate how they say free. Nothing is free. This is just a label that they put on it to try to get votes. But the sentiment behind it is to make sure that every American, no matter how much they make, is getting healthcare and getting the service that they need to survive. And boy, when you put it like that, doesn't it sound great? Doesn't it sound like something you would vote for that you can get behind? It's also something you can use to guilt trip your opposition because they don't care about people and they just wanna see people die. But then reality checks in. Your uncle gets cancer, he needs treatment, and he has to wait six months. By then the cancer is probably going to spread and it'll probably reach the lethal level. But all the hospitals are completely booked because there's many people with more threatening diseases at this time that they need to take care of. And I mean, that sounds logical and it sounds fair, right? Just because he has cancer right now doesn't mean it's threatening yet and other people have more life-threatening issues and they need to be seen first. And so you realize that his cancer couldn't wait six months and that if he had treatment, he could have lived another two years, but instead you'll be planning his funeral instead of his next checkup. That must be why so many Canadians come to America for healthcare. And I forgot to mention one of the most important parts. Those patients ahead of him made poor life choices they had a terrible diet and they didn't take care of themselves while your uncle was a hardworking guy that just happened to get cancer. But the government decided that it's better for people to have no personal accountability and just rely on the government to bail them out of everything. And I didn't even mention those less important checkups like injuries during sporting events or on the job. Well, now you're gonna have to wait a couple weeks to see a doctor for those. I hope you can make it a couple weeks without income, especially since we raised the taxes to oblivion and inflation. But don't worry guys, the government will step in. They are not gonna leave you out on the streets. They can write you a quick check for $400 and that'll cover it, right? It's too bad your rent is a thousand. And even after all of that, the government's looking down on you guys, enjoying the more control that they have. It's been nice paying for your bills for you and paying for your college, but let's change things up a bit. Let's take further control of the media. Let's close down businesses again. Let's raise taxes even a little more. And you know what? Let's just have the entire country live off of stimulus checks. Let's send in the government to take away all firearms while we're at it. On top of that, let's start limiting people's free speech. And then finally, let's just start taking away some people's human rights. Thank you for the help, Bernie Sanders, but we'll take it from here. Who knew Kim Jong-un had such great ideas? And to all of you delusional people out there that wanna say, oh, that would never happen, it's already started.